Tashana, thank you. Can you hear me now? You should. My computer, I had to reboot, and I forget that every time I do that, I have to turn the sound back on. So if you can hear me now, hopefully everything is good. Okay, good. Thank you. Thank you. I was just saying that um, crazy day this morning, my internet for some reason is really sketchy. And I wanted to, I was just trying to show you guys um, a picture of a holder that I'm going to order to put my, my blending brushes in. Um, I'm using my, my third one here, so I'm waiting for my new ones. And so um, it's a really cool holder that's going to work for me. I have a different kind of holder that I don't like as well. So I'm going to show you all of that on Sunday because I'm going to be getting my um, holder on Saturday, my new one. And I couldn't get a link to it because my computer is just twirling. I don't know why. My husband said his is fine. Good, Norma. I'm glad that little bell will work. You just have to make sure that your YouTube is on or open, that you're signed in. And if you just have that, like I have Chrome, so I just have that open on another tab. And I leave it open. That way the notifications will pop up when people that you have... Um, the notification pops up. So anyway, so that's where I was trying to do that and it wasn't working. So um, I'll get you all that information on the blending brushes early. Who was up late last night ordering our new product for the demonstrators? That'd be me. Thank goodness they got them on old enough. Um, Let me see if I can look really quick to Shauna. I'm going to see if I can get a picture of it too. It's kind of giving me a weird... A weird error. Let me see if I can get a picture and I'll show you. It's really cool. It's it's tiny, but at least it went a step farther. So let me, I'll check back in a minute. Remind me and I'll go take a get a picture of it and I'll um, post it uh, for you guys. All right, so here we are. Let's get busy. We have a lot to do. I have a lot of techniques to show you on this card. So this is a really fun gatefold. I don't do gatefolds often enough, but they're so easy and so fun. So I'm going to show you. Nancy, welcome. I'm glad you made it live. Um, Felicia, I will check and see um, on that. I love it, Kathy. I absolutely love it. So today what we're going to do is we're going to work with the Dragonfly Garden and then it's it's sister, the Garden Wishes. So we're going to use both of these with the Dandy Wishes um, dies. So what we're going to do first is we're going to get started with our card base. And the base is four and a quarter by eight. And I will put all the measurements on the blog. So don't worry about that. But now I need to score it. So I have a score, but sometimes for something small that will fit, I'm just going to use my scoreboard. I am going to have to open it up for the last score. So let's see. So we are going to score at one and a quarter. Let me move my card here. One and a quarter we're going to score. So I'm going to move my blade up. I like it on the top and my score on the bottom. And we have one and a quarter. We have two and a half. We have five and a half. Again, all the measurements will be on my blog, so don't worry about that. Hi, Nola. I saw your message. Um, I will uh, get back with you after the video, okay? I had some weird issues going on with my internet this time. All right, and then six and three quarters so that's our scoring all right so now we're going to burnish it all so i told you guys before i'm doing my own nails right other than killing my cuticle right there um my problem is i think i'm allergic to the chemicals and i do the powder dip and so I tried, I switched companies to a different company on the, the powders and the dip. I've just thought, well, okay, I'll, ch I'll change it up and try it. And that's why I sound all nasally and congested again is because I did it last night. 
And my husband is sad when I said I am not doing my own nails anymore as long as the salons are open. If I have to do them once in a while for as an emergency, um, I'll do that. But I am not going to do my own nails all the time. This is miserable. It's like so bad that I have like wheezing in my breathing and I can tell at night when I'm getting ready to go to sleep. Oh, it's awful. Okay, so we're going to burnish it really well. And this is what it should look like. All right. And then you're going to pull in some DSP. Let me find all my DSP. I think I have one missing. Of course. I think. You need four and you want them one inch by four inches. Okay, two different designs. So I think this time, no, I think I'm going to do it the same. So I'm just going to put this. I kind of make sure you go the right way. And I wanted to make sure that I grabbed some of the butterfly or dragonflies with some purple in it, some of the Blackberry Bliss, so that it kind of ties in all that color. So I'm going to bring out my mat. I think it still has embossing powder on it. So let me wipe it down really quick. All right, here we go. And let's adhere these pieces on. If you use your silicone mat and just start your adhesive like right above the mat, Yes, it might go on the map, but you're also going to definitely get it started. So this goes this way. And just kind of center it where you think. I'm trying to... Yay, Colleen, welcome. All right, so just kind of... Oh, that's not crooked at all. I like to lightly lay it down. Just as long as your lines are the same, it's up a little here. And I'm okay with that as long as we're going to align them the best we can um, so that they are all adhering, all going the right way when you adhere them. Now I'm looking at the back, noticing that the stems go down, so I'm going to turn it over this way on the front. Oh, I guess you can tell they are upside down too. It's kind of whimsical all over, so I guess it doesn't matter that much. Okay, I'm going to pull it closer to me, of course, trying not to put my head in the way. All right, now we'll do this one. I think this works better on the, the mat anyway, maybe because it just has that itty bitty bit of cushion on there. All right. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna set this one aside because this is what I like to do. I'm gonna adhere this one because then I can close them and you wanna make sure that they're somewhat lined up as close as you can when it's closed. So let's do that first. All right, so we're going to close them up. I'm going to look at the bottom because it's closer to me without putting my head in your way or trying to. All right, it looks like it's going to go up a little bit more. I mean, it doesn't have to be exactly, but I kind of want it close. So I'm just going to Okay, so I'm good with that. There we go. I love the Blackberry Bliss. Any chance, and Mossy Meadow. I love those two colors together. So that makes me super happy. Um, when I was choosing which colors I wanted to do, I was like, oh yeah, Mossy Meadow for sure. With with Because you have to choose an accent color and you could use the same color. I chose an accent and I'm gonna choose to use the Mossy Meadow. And that's going to be this piece. You're going to use one and a quarter by five and a half. So this is going to be our piece. Oh, I cut it. Oh, no, I didn't. It goes like this. So you're going to adhere it on like that. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to do our sentiment. And this one is one by five and a quarter. And like I said, it's all going to be listed on my blog. So what we're going to do is we're going to start stamping our sentiments. And... 
I'm going to use the same ones because I really like them. And I like how they fit and I like the combination of the font. I think it's super pretty. So wishing you all the best. Oops, look, I already have everything on my on my um, blocks here. I just have to find it. Wishing you all the best. And I'm going to pull out my memento. Oh my gosh, you guys. So you know my granddaughter's coming for Christmas. And so I have this cute little jar. I'm going to put this towards the right. Just like that. I have a cute little jar. It's just one of those, remember those planted round jars with the little scallopy top? So that's what it is. And a friend made it out, uh, made it into like a little snowman candy jar. And she sewed this little light felt snowman hat with a little hat and then put a scarf around the bottle. Anyway, it's got candy in it. So we put little candy. I put it on the table, getting ready for my granddaughter to come. And she's not going to come for a few weeks. So I thought, oh, it'll be really cute right there. And it'll be kind of a surprise. She can see inside the snowman that's got little candies. And they're all decorated candies, individually wrapped. And my cat got up on the table, knocked the snowman's hat off, grabbed some candy out of it. And these are like, this is what I'm talking about. These, these are what I put in there. And so it's a whole bowl of these. Well, she grabbed a bunch, threw them on the floor, and my dog ate them. Left the wrappers, but ate the candy. And I know they're not supposed to eat chocolate. So these two are just in trouble. I was in here, of course. Okay, I don't want to show you this because this is some sneak peek stuff of what we're going to do. All right, so I pulled out old olive and blackberry bliss and so what i'm going to do is we're going to do a little technique with some daubers and so what i did is i took the blackberry bliss and the old olive and we are going to daub up some fun let me grab my paper here. I have a scratch piece of paper that I love these little the little sheets that go in the stamparatus. I love them. So I'm going to try and keep my paper kind of neat for the video. All right. So take the Blackberry Bliss. I'm just going to do the big dragonfly and then the three small ones on the bottom. Okay, and if you get a little on the other dragonflies, don't even worry about it. It's not that big of a deal. Then Old Olive, and I'm just going to go on these two. And I kind of was going to go on that one too, but that's okay. I kind of messed up. And then we're going to stamp. And then we're going to stamp and stamp. It holds the color quite a bit. I'm going to start darker over here because I want it lighter once you get to the sentiment, okay? And we're lighter there. And I think what I'm going to do is, now I'm going to clean that off. I'm just going to pat it dry. And then I'm going to do just the old olive on the big one. And I'm just going to put him right there just to kind of tie in a little more green. There. So it just kind of decorates it. So we're going to set that aside. The other thing we're going to do is this. So for the inside of our panel in the back, we're going to add this in. And that is two and three quarters by four. And then you want a two and a half by three and three quarters whisper white. So before we adhere that, we're going to do the same thing. So I'm going to change up, clean this up a bit. We're going to do the old, oops, I just, hold on, I just stuck the wrong one in the wrong color. Didn't that figure? Let me clean that off. Okay, so the old olive we're going to come across. 
the middle and then the Blackberry Bliss. Hey Donette, welcome. We're gonna go on the top and then over here. All right. And now we're just going to stamp and stamp and stamp and that's good. We just want a little decoration and that's all we need for that. All right, let me put these back. I like to put these back in the same spot. This is what I use for my daubers because see the color at the bottom? So you wanna make sure you try to put them in the same spot so it doesn't pick up a weird color. All right, so we're gonna set that over there. All right, now we're, we can go ahead and we're gonna stamp the rest of this one which is right here and we're going to use made with love for a true friend and just kind of put it on the top over that is fine it's going to be in black and so i think this would be really cute the card is made with love but also if you made some cookies for a neighbor or anything like that would be a lot of fun oh i hope my head's not in the way Okay, so it's over the butterflies, but you can still definitely read it. So I'm good with that. All right. Now we're going to adhere all this together. Everybody make it through your Cyber Monday and your shopping and get a lot done. All right, we're going to adhere this. Again, try and line it up kind of close to what your other ones are. And then, looks good. And then we're going to do this one. I still have shopping to do. A lot of it's going to be online. So I'm almost done. All right. Now I'm not going to adhere the front piece on yet because I'm going to adhere, the, adhere these two together. But I'm not going to put that on yet, and I'll show you in just a bit why. We're going to create something to go on the back. And kind of fill in that spot. Okay, so we're going to set this aside. And now we're going to do some fun stuff. So... I pre-done a few things, but I want to show you how to do it. So I wanted to use our velveteen paper. So this is our velveteen paper. We have the cinnamon color. The I think this is Highland Heather. Oh, I guess I could look. It's right here. Um, oh, I'd have to look in the book for the exact colors. But I think that's it. And it's um, so soft seafoam or soft seafoam. Yeah. So what I did is on this card is I have a green one and I'm, we're going to emboss that with white. Okay. And then we're also going to have a little green and a little purple. So let's show you the green one. And then we're going to take a little piece of the brown here. I'm just going to cut a piece out. And then we're also going to cut a piece of the green out. So let me just cut a piece here we're going to be using. And I will use the rest of it on a project like this. Okay. So the first thing we're going to do, you do not need to put, um, 
your embossing buddy on here. So don't you don't need to do that. But you're going to get your Versa Markel and our Dragonfly. So we'll do this part first. And we are going to ink it up. I'm going to pull in my white embossing powder. I did post on my last video, um, somebody had asked me about the spice containers that I use. And um, there's one like it. I put a link on the bottom of the description on my very last video. It's on there. And so these are super handy. I'll show you again for the new people. They're super handy to use. So I have the main colors in here. Uh, so that is super, super handy. And I did put a link of one that looks just like it. It's not the same one, but it looks like it. Okay. So we're going to emboss this in white. So I'm just going to put this at the very corner down towards the bottom. Put it close enough so that when you use your punch, it's easy to get out. And now we're going to put our powder. And you're going to think, oh my goodness, this, this um, velvet team paper is just sucking up the embossing powder because it does all right so we're going to tap that off and see you can see there's a lot on there still just give it a good tap that velveteen paper really holds on to your embossing powder perfect so go ahead and give it a good tap and that will come off so let's heat this I'm going to let that heat up a little bit so I can put this back in one handed. Let's see how that goes. All right, here we go. And it doesn't get super shiny. It's kind of like when I did um, the other day on the velvet. It's the same idea. It doesn't get super shiny, but it you can tell that it's done. So you don't want to do too much. And I kind of just keep it moving because I just don't know if it's going to burn. Okay, I'm, I'm going to let it cool a little bit. And then you can kind of tell that it's all done. All right. I just like it to cool before I rub my hands on it. Because if it's still warm, you're going to rub your... Am I done? No, I'm still here. Okay, so there is our butterfly. So we're going to leave that. And um, we're going to move over to this side really quick. And we're going to go back to that. Now is when I'm going to be bringing in my blending brush. I hope I'm still here. Debbie, do you guys still see me here? We're going to bring in the blending brush and I'm going to use, um, I think I thought moss. No, I think I did use mossy meadow. So we're going to do mossy meadow with the blending brush. Let me move this out of the way. And we're going to just, okay, good, Tashana, thank you. So you just want to tap. You don't need to do it super hard. You don't need to blend it really, you know, in your thing. Just kind of tap it around. And then I'm going to blend. Look how neat this blends. Okay, and then don't get too close to your butterfly because you don't want to get him green. We're going we're gonna to do something else with him. So just blend. And get darker and lighter, whatever you want. I want a little darker in some spots. So I'm going to go straight to the paper now. Because I want that. I want to add some green dark spots on there. It'll look a little more variegated. A little more texture for what I want. Okay, so I think we're good there. I can't believe we were only able to order pre-order one blend brush. I want like a lot of them. <laughs> okay, so now we're going to take the dies 
and we're going to die cut two things. You know what? Let's do that last. Let's do, let's move on to our, our butterfly really quick. So I want to show you a quick tip. I have three Wink Estellas and they're all, you can hold them up to the light and you can kind of tell that they're all kind of, I don't know if you can tell, but I can tell they're all kind of losing their water. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold them up, see which one has like the most silver because I know I've put water in one of them. We're going to take this off and undo this right here. Okay. So when you get down to there's nothing left to squeeze out, I'm going to take my tweezers and I'm just going to go under and pop this little black. See this little tube? That's where some of my glitter is in there. Okay, so we're just going to lay that down. And then I have this little nozzle of water. Um, Debbie, it wasn't available until midnight mountain time. I'm in California, so I ordered at 11 o'clock my time. So right at midnight, it was available. So yeah, mine has shipped already. So, but that's, I do that all the time. Um, okay, so now I filled it up to here. I don't want to fill it all the way up just because I don't know. I don't want it to be water. I don't want water to start coming out. And I don't know if this is the one I've already put water in once. So I'm just going to make sure. So I'm going to put this water in there. And I'm going to probably end up doing that with those two also because I just I don't know how much is in them. I should kind of mark a little tick mark or something knowing if I've already ordered them or not. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to take the Mossy Meadow and the Blackberry Bliss. I know you guys are going to be like, what? And you've probably seen this before, but you squeeze the lid. You want to get a little bit that's on the top right there. It's not going to hurt your pad. It is water-based, okay? And so we're just going to squeeze a little. I do it just over to the side. Just a little. Get the color that you want. And we are going to color our butterfly. Okay, it will lighten up. Just color it. I'm going to add a little bit more. And just kind of go back and forth. You want to just make sure it gets all colored because when you punch it, the little edges, you don't want them green. You want them Okay, so just kind of, and it will lighten up, and I'll show you in just a second. So I'm just going to go along all the wings. Make sure you're getting all your glitter. You have a lot in there, so there's really no need to keep squeezing this. Just keep picking it up out of here. Okay, so now you have all your wings I'm gonna color right up to the body okay so now all your wings are colored and I just kind of like to fan off the extra all right so now we're just gonna take this over to the side see how now it's going clear again so the color is gone you could take this and clean it up it, I mean, it's not going to hurt anything. I like to clean it up. I just don't want any sparkles all over my ink pad. So I just make sure that I take a wet baby wipe and just make sure you spark, you know, get that just so it doesn't drip on the pad. That's going to dry and it's going to be fine. So don't worry about that because remember it's, it's down. All right. So now we're going to take the green. Oops. Same thing. I kind of left a little on there from yesterday, so I'm going to leave that because there's not that much. I think I, my thought was I'll just use what's on here. Let's see. And then we're going to just go on the body. Same thing. Just get it really good because remember your punch is going to go where you want. Okay, so there's my green. And then normally I would set that aside to dry. You can also just wipe this on a baby wipe and you can see it's just clear again. And I'm going to go ahead and clean it up this time. 
Okay, so it cleans up just fine. All right, so there we go. All right, so through the magic of TV, this will be drying, but I still need that side. So we're going to cut this now. I let it dry before I cut it, okay? And then this is what we have. So there is our butterfly, all sparkly and pretty. And then what I did is I made a bunch of them. So we have, we're going to use this one and then the little ones. All I did is put regular Wink Stella on the purple paper. And then I put Wink Stella on the green paper. So there's a little green one. All right. This one I tried, I just did plain Wink Stella right onto the purple. Just so you can see what it looks like. And this one I embossed in gold. I just haven't done it yet, but I really liked the way the white came out. So let me just move those over and then there it is. That's with the white. And I just liked how you could see the lines a little bit better. And I just thought that was so much prettier. Okay. So there we go. That's on the white. So there's our, so then I thought, okay, we needed to add some glimmer because th this is going to be really sparkly. So, I brought in this stamp set, this stamp here, okay, from Dragonfly Garden. And I should have showed you this part before, but I had I had done it already, so I didn't worry about it. But now that I I should have uh, showed you how to do this too. So let's just show you. So what we're going to do is take a piece of paper and while you have your ink pad out and inky, so we're just going to ink them up again. Felicia, that's what I tried doing with the, the poinsettia and it worked out really well. So I thought, oh, okay, well, I'm going to try it on this one too. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back and we're going to squeeze a little bit. Okay, and get our red, and we're going to do our flowers. So I just did our flowers, and I did a flower here. So just kind of pick out where you think your flowers are. And yes, this is going to make your stamp um, glittery. So make sure that you use, I use my scrub on it because um, I just really want to make sure I got all the glitter stuff off. So just kind of use that. So I'm just going through picking out what I think looks like little flowers. You know, it's wildflowers. It's going to be in the background. It's not that big of a deal. Okay, everything else to me kind of looks like it is um, green, except the tops of the flowers, and I'll show you that in a second. So I am going to wipe that off. I am going to put that right there, and we're just going to go into the green for right now. Hi, Sally. Oh, thank you so much. That means a lot. All right, we're going to get Mossy Meadows. Same thing. Okay, it's just a little bit, and I think that's fine. It's off screen, I know, but let me, I've got stuff everywhere. Let's see. There we go. All right, so we're going to do a little bit in here, and then I just went in and I did green. Green, green, green. Add your green everywhere. I might have add, I added all of last time. I don't remember. But make sure you're picking up your green. You'll start seeing it go to clear. Just make sure you're getting your green. Oops, I just put some green on one of my flowers, but that's okay. Just keep going. Add your green. We're not going to go all the way down. I mean, you could, but for our project, we don't need to. So I'm going to go to about right here and just stop. Was my head in the way? No. Good. All right. Oh, you guys are so many amazing new stamps. I cannot wait. I'm getting my package tomorrow. Shh. Don't tell my husband I paid extra to get it fast. He'll be like, really? Yes. Yes, really. It's very important. 
because I want to share with you guys so you can see all the fun stuff. So I will have a haul, a haul video. So be looking for that. Make sure you have subscribed and hit the little notification. Have your YouTube open on another page there so you can, I'm going to wipe this up a little bit more. So you guys can see um, when I come live and you'll see my, um, I kind of try to bunch it all up so you can see what goes with what um, before I go live so that I don't like pulling stuff out of the box just randomly because then you're like, oh, does that have dice? Does that have, I want to show it to you all at one time so you can see. Okay, so it's all kind of saturated in there. So I'm just going to stamp and lift. Stamp and lift and you can see the first image was a little more watery the second image not as watery the third image is really really light but would be great so i'm going to go lower it would be great in a background okay so look how pretty this is and it's all i don't know if this is bright light it's all the shimmer. It's all from Wink Estella. So I already done one and I've already cut it out. So I did this yesterday. And then what I did is I took um, a yellow. I took Bumblebee and I just added at the top. So again, you're going to wipe your brush off. Let me fix my light here. Wipe your brush. You're going to pull in your bumblebee and I have a little here. I'm not even going to squeeze it and I'm just going to put my little bumblebee right at the top. So you can do your little bumblebee and there's three of them. Okay, so Wink Estella does a lot. I mean, you could add now. I'm, I'm not doing this neatly because I'm just kind of trying to show you. And the shine is glaring right now. <laughs> okay, so there you go. Thank you, you guys. Um, yeah, so there you go. There it is on stamp. So that's another, another idea. So I'm going to set these aside with this to dry over here. I'll put those behind me. To dry and those can be used on something else all right so your wink estella is washed wiped, wiped up it's all white again so now you learned how to put stuff on it i'm going to spray that and clean it later but for now i think what i'm going to do is i'm just going to lay a baby wipe on it just to keep it moist and not get i don't know what it would do because normally i clean it up right away so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to pull this little guy in that we used already and I want to, oh, I got a little piece of adhesive on my card. Are they black eyed Susie's? I have no idea, Felicia. They're pretty. They, to me, they look like um, sunflowers or daisies beginning, you know, just because they're weeds. I don't know, but they're pretty. So then I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put this right here. So what I'm going to do is because I already put it in, I'm going to get an idea of where I want it. And then I'm going to go right where the white's at, and I'm just going to draw a line. Now, for, for video's sake, I put it together, but I should have not done the white yet until I put this on there, but it's not a big deal. I'm just going to cut right above the black line, right at an angle. And then I'm going to add some liquid adhesive because it's just a little easier to put on and manipulate it and just a little it'll it'll adhere just fine and it just kind of fills in that back because that is not where your text is going to go all right so we're going to pull this in right about there and we're just going to tack that down there. All right, so let's let that dry. We do have another piece right here that's going to be adhered to the back. And I'm actually going to do that now so I don't write on it. 
and end up doing something else with it. All right, so let's go ahead, turn that over, and we're just going to put that right here in the back. So you can write a little note. All right, so there's that. Now we can go ahead and what I did on this one, you'll notice, is I did adhere the front label, but I'm kind of thinking I might do it a little bit differently, but I think because I just didn't like how unfinished this looks in the front, but I'm going to show you how I did that. So I'm going to leave it like this and I'm going to show you the browns in a different way. So now what we're going to do is we're going to bring in the brown and the green that we did. We are going to put our green on here. I want the small one and the big one. I'm going to do two of the large. So I'm going to turn that one because I want some of the dark on that one. And I'm going to put the light like right there. No, I'm going to put the light one like right here. No. Decisions, decisions. I think, I think right here is going to be fine. So I'll put that there. And then we're going to take these two weed looking things. I do not know the names of them. But if you look on the garden wishes, you see them right here. And so to me, they look like a brownishy green, like they would be a weed. So they might be green, but they're going to be brown for us. Oh, but I forgot. I took soft suede. This just looked too bright. So I took soft suede and I took my old brown brush because I don't have enough new ones yet. As you can see, I, I said before, I'm going to put my colors on there. Oh, I'll go back and look and see if that um, thing's available. And then I'm going to take the brown and I'm just going to kind of dull up this bright. See how bright it is right there? I'm just going to dull it up a little bit and make it look a little more like weeds. Ah, dandelions. Yes. Yes, that makes sense. Okay, so there's that. And now we're going to do our, our browns over here. I'm doing them brown. I was raised in the country. There's a lot of dandelions, but there's a lot of weeds too. So we're going more realistic looking. All right, and then we're going to do our leaves. I'm going to do one small leaf and two large leaves. So if you didn't know, the new mini machines are available for demonstrators to purchase. If you are interested in becoming a demonstrator, I'd love to have you on my team and then you could go online and order all the new goodies and you would get a discount. And a lot of people are intimidated. A lot of people um, don't think they can do it. You make it what you want. If you want it to be a business, make it a business. I'm here to help you make it whatever you want. If you want just to get a discount and earn free product and all that good stuff and have a, fel a page of fellowship of a ton of demonstrators where you learn so many things, then let me know and I can help you. All right, so I have two large ones and a small. And then I have my two brown weeds. <laughs> Weedish, kind of. All right, so we're gonna set that aside and put these back so I don't lose them. And then the next thing we're gonna do is we're going to color our image. This one here, we're gonna stamp it. So let's move those over. Oh, I cut that off, okay. We are going to color that so we can add it to the front. And I did it in green. So I did it in Mossy Meadow on the bottom part. And then I'm going to bring my daubers in. So I got the big part of it 
on here green. All right. Then what I did is I'm going to bring in my Mossy Meadow. Very important to put the name on these things so you can make sure you get the right one. Okay, Mossy Meadow. And then I go right up to the flowers. All right, so you just want to make sure you got everything on here really good. All right, and then I took So Saffron. No, I'm sorry, I took Bumblebee. And did the flowers. You can tell here is where I stamp a lot, so I'm trying to go around the edges a little more to pick up a lot of color. And that is it. We're going to move this aside. I'm going to huff on it. Just to make sure it's still moist stamp it down I like to hold it for a bit okay so there we go all right so now what I did is I took the wink of Stella again and I just did the outside just lightly go over the flowers remember they're water base so you don't want to make a puddle but I'm they, they, it makes them a little darker and it just adds some shimmer again tying in the shimmer that I'm putting on here and then I took I know I'm using a lot of tools then I took the blender pen which I love. If you're a new stamper, the blender pens are super nice because they give you a lot of options to use without um, a big expense at first. And so then you're going to take your um, blending tool and I just dab it right on there and then just fill in your color. I did these green. They're not all weeds. I just did the whole thing green. You don't want, I mean, you don't have to put too much time into this. My phone just rang and it might be our delivery person. I didn't answer it, but we have a um, piece of furniture being delivered today so I'm hoping now I'm doing this old olive because um, I wanted it to kind of pop a little bit and because I did the outside of it in mossy meadow I just kind of wanted it to not blend in because this is fairly dark right here on the sides I just kind of wanted it to pop a little bit so because we're going to add the brown to it okay so we're just making sure we get the leaves okay it doesn't have to be exact all right I'm just doing the ground okay so I'm good oh, I want this to touch the yellow though all right so I'm hoping that wasn't the delivery people saying that they're not coming or they're late or. All right. Again, these are really nice. Just keep wiping them off and you'll see that they eventually go clear. See, now it's clear. All right. So those work really good. They already have like a little liquid in them to use. All right. So now that's done. We're going to use our our die 
and I already have tape on it from yesterday so we're gonna just fold my tape like I said I like to make it long enough to where I can oops I just folded it though to hold on to it and kind of get it where you want it and tape it down my UPS man doesn't come super early so um, my haul might not be as early as I would love it to be but hopefully you'll join me tomorrow all right so now we have that so we can add that now my first thought was well my second thought because I already did the first one on the outside of this is I was gonna put this underneath and so I was gonna kind of bring it up and then put everything underneath this so that it kind of, so this was the main focus but then I really ended up kind of liking how I did it here so let me show you what I did because there's going to be a little bit of adjusting there I cut the middle of the green ones off but I'm thinking that I might not do that this time I might just stick them in the back so that they're not so see it here I didn't like how they're in the front I didn't like that as well so I think what I want to do is I'm going to stick those in the back oh let's put our our thing on here so what I did is you're going to lay this down so we're going to put this on first I wanted a little bit of the color the printed DSP to show up so I'm just going to align this and then kind of decide where you want this at. So if I want it right there, I'm still going to see the flowers. And so I'm good with that because you're going to see this, but I kind of liked it having it one more down. I think I'm going to do it one more down. So what you're going to do is you're going to kind of put your finger and know that that's where you want adhesive. So I'm going to go ahead and put two things of adhesive right here. Line it up on your line. I'm going up one line and it's edge to edge. So you're going to put this on the edge. Okay, so that's your edge right there. And now you're going to come across. And that's where your edge is. So again, right where that butterfly wing is. So I think two nice strands right here. Two nice lines. There you go. And with just a little apart, it's going to work great. All right. Yep, right about there so it's going to go straight across so just remember you have one side open and one side down so it can go either way but it's going to stand up perfectly for somebody all right now i think we can put our butterfly or butterfly our dragonfly on because he's nice and dry because i did him yesterday so we're just going to put him right here and so what i did is i I did one on each wing, but fairly close to each other. And we're going to put this little guy like right. <coughs> Oops, my furniture is here. Right there. So now we're going to go ahead and put this here. But we want to put the brown in the back. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put glue dots just on the bottom two. Because I, those are going to be in the background. So shh. My husband's here so he'll get the door. But my dog is going crazy. 
All right, so there's the first one, and I'm gonna put the larger one towards the middle because we have the space to do that. Okay. And see, we can flip it in front there, whatever you want. Let's see, this is, yeah, four and a quarter. So you don't wanna go too much higher than that. So we're gonna probably have to bring that down a little bit. So we probably will bring that in and that's fine. It's just there, you can see it. So the other one we're gonna take, and I think I'm just going to maybe just bring it up higher. So yeah, you're not gonna see the paper right there very well, but that's okay. I like to see all the little elements that are on a card, so I'm gonna add it. All right, and the bottom two are fine. You don't have to. Okay, we're gonna kind of put that there. So I'm gonna put this right about there. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and put this down. And I pretty much glued everything except the, the bottom here. No, let's see. I did pop this up. So let's pop this up. And you're going to want to put your dimensionals kind of more towards the center just to make sure that they're going to be on there. And I did the large one and then I did a little one for this guy here. This one I left open. All right, and then I just laid it right about there. So you can tell these two are stuck on, this is stuck on, this is not. Now the secret for the green is you're gonna take your little leaves and what I did is I made the bottom look like the ground. So I just kind of did a wave Okay, so it just kind of goes kind of like this. This is just kind of make it away because that big old block would be fine if we were sticking it behind something and that's where we wanted it to glue. But because it is part of our scene, we're going to kind of make it. And the image at the top is wide enough to add dimension right there or I mean a dimension a, a, a glue dot so we're going to add a glue dot here I added a glue dot there a large one and then I added another one here and then I just rolled it under just the edge there okay because they are sticky and then we're going to add this right here just towards the edge. We're gonna add this one over towards this edge a little bit. Oh, I did that wrong. We're gonna add, let me add another glue dot to that one. We're gonna add this one, because see, both of these are going the same way. So we're gonna add that, it just tucks right underneath that long little piece right there. So it just kind of looks like it's solid. And then what I did is I just cut the white off. I just cut that white straight so it looks like part of the, the image. And you could pull it down to be as long as this green is. I just wanted it past the white. And then we're gonna add one more glue dot. And then the little one is just kind of covers up where you need it covered. And I'm just gonna do one right here, but I'm gonna kind of angle it just a little bit. And then we'll just cut that little angle off. All right, so there's your grass. And now we need to add our little, 
our little dragonflies. So I took the lighter one and I added a small dimensional on them. So you learned a lot of different techniques. And I'm just going to add this little guy. I want to cut that off. So I'm going to add this little guy right here. This little part of the grass I'm going to cut off. And then we're going to add the little purple one. Right here. And we're going to have him kind of flying in, but kind of right there amongst the flowers. So you can see the purple one coming in. All right. So there we go. I'll turn that mess over. So number one and number two. Now this one I used um, old olive, but I really liked the mossy meadow color better. And I definitely like the white better than the gold embossing. And the little ones I really love just as a background. I mean, you could even cut those out in black and just put them there like they're in the shadow. I really liked those. So there you go. Fits right inside an A2 envelope. And here's our other one that I did. I went ahead and I added the print here because I thought that the plain on top here would just be too simple so I that's why I chose to use more pattern paper in the front but you know how I am I like to have layers of stuff to look through I'm gonna look really quick and see if I can see this item here so I can take a picture of it for you and show you Well, it's not showing up for me. Let's see. Here we go. I'm going to get the link for you. Okay, so I have the link and I'm going to go ahead and post it um, to the bottom of the, the, the YouTube as soon as I'm off. So I will, I will post that to the bottom. Well, I'm hoping my husband's at the door because the doorbell keeps ringing and I don't know if he's getting it or not. I hope you guys like the card so much. Thank you for joining me. I am going to rush off and grab the door. Here is my information. I would love for you guys to subscribe so that you can see um, the haul tomorrow. I'm hoping to be on tomorrow to show that to you. I appreciate it. Don't forget to subscribe, a like, and share. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed the card. Have a fantastic day, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.